Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex with the Signal RGB team. A while back, we built a keyboard wall and a lot of you said we should make it bigger. And so I have the lights off right now so you can see the keyboard wall behind me that's two times bigger than the old one. And in this video, I'm also gonna show you guys how I built this keyboard wall, as well as how I set up the keyboard wall and Signal RGB layouts. And on top of that, I'm gonna be showing you guys the videos that you requested to see on the keyboard wall. And maybe I'll even try and play some video games on it. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was add some black sheets on the wall so that the keyboard wall looks like it's floating when the lights are off. The keyboards used here are the Whirlwind FX Element V2 keyboards. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. A total of 40 keyboards and six powered seven port USB hubs were used for this project. Before I could start building the wall, I had to plug in every single keyboard to make sure each one worked fine. And I also had to make sure that Signal RGB and my PC would run well when 40 keyboards are connected. I hooked up all the keyboards to the USB hubs on the floor and connected each hub to the PC one at a time. By the end of it, I had 40 keyboards connected to my PC and scattered all over the floor. I played the Floor is Lava Keyboard Edition for a little bit. With all 40 keyboards connected, my computer was using only 2% CPU, so everything was running much better than expected. It was time to start mounting the keyboards to the wall. I came up with an easy and efficient way to mount the keyboards. A hammer and some nails was all I needed. While this is a pretty hilarious method, it actually worked really well, and as you can see here, the keyboard is mounted on tight, with one nail in each corner. Now it's time to do that 39 more times until the wall of keyboards is complete. With the entire wall assembled, there is only one step left to get this entire thing working like a big screen, and that's to configure the layout in Signal RGB. Lucky for me, there's a feature in Signal RGB where selecting a device in the app will make it pulse blue in real time, so I could see exactly which keyboard I'm selecting, which made it way easier to configure the layout. Alright guys, so for this part, I've put on my headset, and I'm going to go ahead and capture my screen so I can explain how I'm going to get each keyboard to act as a part of a giant keyboard screen. So, in Signal RGB, we have this thing called layouts, and here is where you can basically position each device on a canvas. And so what we want is, you know, each one of these keyboards to capture a part of a giant screen. So right now I have the keyboard that's in the top left corner selected. And what I want to find out is the optimal size of each keyboard on this canvas, right? And so if I max out the x-axis, I get 320. So if I divide 320 by 5, which is how many keyboards are on the wall going from left to right. So that's 64. Right? So if I come down here to size, you can see that I can scale it down to 63 because there is no 64. And so now I have the optimal size keyboard. This way I'll be able to fit exactly five keyboards going from left to right. So now basically with that explained, I just have to go ahead and actually do it. While I'm setting up the layout, I want to explain something. We are not the first to build a giant RGB keyboard screen. In fact, Logitech built a much bigger one for PAX many years ago. However, we are the first to build a keyboard screen that is fully addressable and customizable through an RGB software such as Signal RGB, which is what we're using to make all of this possible. The Logitech keyboard wall only played a single pre-programmed video on loop, whereas with our screen, I can put literally anything on it in real time. After about half an hour, the layout was complete. You can see how it looks exactly like the keyboard wall. Now it's time to start having some fun. First I'll show you guys some of my favorite Signal RGB effects, then some videos using screen ambience, and finally I'll finish it off by playing various games on the keyboard wall. Let's get started.
walk. But what if Daddy doesn't want to? Then what? What if Daddy doesn't want to walk? Oh. You'll just keep making that sound? Really? Till Daddy's head explodes? <laughs> Hayden's office laboratory is located at the top of this facility. Attention, emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. Warning, demonic presence threat level 5 entering main laboratory.
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this keyboard wall in action. What should we show next? And do you think we should try and make the wall even bigger? Let us know in the comments down below and also be sure to like and subscribe to see more of the keyboard wall.